to the gymnasium at Hales Franciscan High School for today's matchup of the GWBA. In action today, it's the defending champion Flint Monarchs versus your Chicago Breeze. Now let's meet the starters for the Flint Monarchs. Number one, Jasmine Thomas. Number three, Jasmine McCall. Number four, Arlesia Morse. Number 11, Morgan Pullins. And number 23, Crystal Bradford. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the Chicago Breeze. Number two, M. C. Smelzer. Number seven, Bree Blair. Number ten, Ariel Easton. Number thirteen, Akaya Taylor. And number twenty-two, Kendra Shelton. The head coach of the Flint Monarchs is Nicole Randolph, and her assistant is Linnell Jones McKinney. And the head coach of your Chicago Breeze is Duval Richardson. Chicago Breeze, big matchup coming up today, home opener against the Flint Monarchs. Before we talk about that, I want to go back in time a week to the road game against Indianapolis. The Bandits were able to use a lot of pressure, come out with a big start, get a 10-point lead on y'all, and then about well, midway through the third quarter, you could sense the building start to change as your team started to adjust. Take us through a little bit how you got down and then how you came back. Well, we blew a couple of assignments. We missed 32 of the shooter, and uh, we were supposed to take the point guard out of the game. So, but, so third quarter, the adjustment was let's press. And we went, you know, we went with a diamond press, and we went with a 2-1-2 two -two press. And as, as that game went along, I sensed that the team was starting to trust each other a little bit more. I wanted to ask you a bit about capitalizing on these opportunities to grow as a team when this is a, a short schedule, just through the summer, just on Saturdays, practice opportunities are limited. How do you make sure to maximize every second, especially in contests like that where the outcome can determine really the momentum for setting the tone for the whole season? Right. Well, we. We got a boost from our bench. DePorey Smith and Dave gave us a boost that we didn't expect. Those two, you know, young ladies that came in the game and gave us a boost we weren't expecting. And, and if we can get um, KB, if she can come get in some shape, I think we're going to be okay. I wanted to ask a bit about Zaporia <laughs> Smith. I've read that she is proudest of being, having been a captain at every level of basketball, mm -hmm. and. Again, with those limited opportunities, those, those small opportunities for leadership and big shots, what does it take to have poise when you come in the fourth quarter and hit some big shots like that? Well, Zaporia, I had a little insight with her because I, she was a, um, a player at Governor State, and I've been on there for four years, so I, I've seen her for three years, so I had a little cheat sheet on her, so I was able to trust her <laughs> a little earlier. So. Taking a look at the matchup today, the Flint Monarchs, a team with a lot of size, a lot of length, and particularly a player in Crystal Bradford who stands about six foot two but can do the work of a point guard. You have a smaller backcourt. How do you match up against that kind of a two-way player? Well, we're going to put um, Mariah on her and going to put KB. KB said, don't worry about offense tonight, coach. I'm going to rebound and play defense on her. But the key, I think, is if we can stop Taylor Gleason from getting on. Number seven, she's just signed a contract with Germany, so that's that's one of the you know sleepers on that team, Taylor Beats. Also, facing up against a team that didn't have their coaches last week because they were being inducted into the Hall of Fame. What's it like to see that kind of uh, that kind of pedigree and that kind of experience throughout the GWBA? Well, I hope they take us lightly. <laughs> I hope they take us lightly. I hope they still ride that high about being into the Hall of Fame, and I think we'll be ready to. All right, home opener today. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Welcome to Hales Franciscan High School.
on this humid Saturday afternoon, 3, 10 p.m. right now as we get ready for the Chicago Breeze and the Flint Monarchs, the defending champs. Live at Hales Franciscan High School in the Kenwood neighborhood in Chicago, Illinois. I'm Hami Rain bringing you all the action. This is Chicago Breeze Basketball. You heard the starters. Jasmine Thomas, Jasmine McCall, Alicia Morris, Morgan Pullins, and Crystal Bradford for Flint. And for Chicago, MC Smelzer, Bree Blair, Ariel Easton, Akaya Taylor, and Kendra Shelton. As we line up for tip-off, 3.10 p.m., right on time. And the tip is up, and the Flint Monarchs win the tip. So Thomas will start it off from the corner. Thomas finding McCall at the right wing. McCall with the pull up two and swishes it home. So now here comes Chicago the other way. And a loose ball taken away. Here comes McCall again against Bree Blair. Nice move. Gets it over to number 11. That is Pullins. Now to the wing, loose ball, McCall saves it, and it's gonna be turned over. Chicago basketball the other way. The Breeze are coming off a 98 to 85 victory in Bethel Park, Indiana last week. Bree Blair bringing it up, she had 19 points in that one. Easton here had 18. She's the player of the week this week. Underneath, here's a hook shot, no good, can't bank it in, and picked up and laid in by MC Smelzer. 2-2 early on. Here's Thomas against Blair. Step back for Bradford, a three. Air ball, nearly an air ball. Here comes Ariel Easton running it back. Easton pulls up, that's a three. Air ball again. Saved by Taylor. Bree Blair. Oh, no basket. I thought that didn't hit the shot clock. That didn't go over the backboard. That's what the Lawrence Creighton is saying. And a timeout is called against Thomas called for Flint. No basket. They're calling that one. And the clock malfunction we have early on here. A fast start so far. Smelzer scores two off the miss by Shelton. And McCall hit a two point basket as well. We're tied at two with 8.30 to go in this first quarter. Hami Rain here bringing you the action for Chicago Breeze basketball. Here's the inbound, here's McCall. McCall feeling the pressure in the backcourt. Here she is bringing it up. She feeds it to Thomas. Thomas around the screen. Thomas pulls up for two and air balls again. Here comes Easton running it back. Easton, loose ball taken away. Bradford has it. Here's Crystal Bradford running it back. Bradford against Blair. She gets past her. Lays it up, scores it, plus the foul. Crystal Bradford, count the basket and the foul. They're going to call foul on number 22. That's Shelton. That's her first. So Bradford was the championship MVP last season. And a timeout called for the Breeze before this free throw. Chicago Breeze timeout. Back here at Hales Franciscan High School. At the line shooting one. Two, 
Bradford at the line for two. It's on Smelzer. Or for one, I should say. But she made the end one. Four two Flint here in Chicago. So we got 7.43 on the clock. 4-2 with Bradford at the line now. Bradford hits the free throw. She's got three. And here comes Bree Blair running it back for the breeze. Blair and a steal by Bradford, another one. Here's Bradford all the way. Lays it in, off the glass. That's five for Bradford. Bree Blair now has it, and a whistle blown. And they're gonna think they're gonna reset the shot clock. Maybe a foul off the ball. So coming in is Shantae Glenn. Zaporia Smith has been in. Akaya Taylor will inbound for Chicago. Here's the inbound to Zaporia Smith. Smith at the corner. And she throws it away. Oh, it's saved by Shante Glenn. Glenn gets it underneath. Here's Shelton with a post move. Back out to Glenn. Here's Smith, top of the key. Shot clock down to six. Akaya Taylor around the screen. And hits. Flint likes to run. Here comes Thomas. She pulls up. That's a long two. And she's short. Picked up by Beecham. Up ahead to Smith. Smith has Taylor, she'll take it upon herself, misses, Taylor offensive rebound and lays it in. Akaya Taylor. Four quick ones for Akaya Taylor, 6.40 to go in the first. It's 6-7-6, six, six. Flint out in front. This is Thomas to McCall, around the screen, McCall with the dribble. Underneath, here's a little hook shot, no good by Pullins, and now here comes the breeze, here come the breeze the other way. Glenn, underneath, trying to find Shelton, throws it away. It will remain with Chicago, off of Pullins. Breeze basketball, 6.20 to go. Flint up one. 7-6, here's the inbound, Beecham, top of the key. And a foul's gonna be called. That's gonna be against Pullins. Some substitutions now coming in for Flint. Here's Sparkle Taylor as well as Brandy Baker coming in. So we got Baker and Taylor coming in for Flint. A sideline out of bounds. Here's the inbound for from Taylor. Shantae Glenn. Smith open three. No good. And picked up by McCall. Smith is slow to get back. McCall. McCall on the drive against Taylor. Or Shantae Glenn, she throws it away. Chicago ball, she throws it away. With six minutes to go. Fast paced game so far. Shantae Glenn will walk it up the court. There's Glenn on the drive. Underneath, she tried to find Shelton, she lost the ball. Here comes Moores. Alicia Moores on the drive, getting it to the baseline. Nice fake there by Taylor. A three is off the mark, and it's gonna roll out of bounds. Chicago ball, still 7-6 with 5.30 to go. MC Smelser is ready back to check back in. She does, this time for Shelton. And here's Glenn walking it up. Shantae Glenn getting across that half court circle. Holding her dribble. Glenn around the screen. Finds the pass to Beecham and she tried to find Smith. And a foul is going to be called against the Monarchs. Foul on number 33, Brandy Butler. Team second or first? That's Mike Fleischman on the PA. He's calling that on Butler. Yeah. 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 
Here's the inbound. Taylor, oh, she tried to find Glenn, it's taken away. Here comes McCall. McCall to the wing. This is a three. Oh, it's in and out for Morris, and it's picked up by the Breeze. That's Peachum with the rebound. Smith thought about it for a second. We'll get it right back to the top of the key. Beecham, it's a long two. Yes. Kayla Beecham with the basket. Here's McCall. McCall to Thomas. That's a three. No good. Off the top of the backboard. And it'll be Chicago basketball. 8-7. Breeze out in front. Easton checks back into the game for Akaya Taylor. Here's Shante Glenn walking up back up. Glenn getting it to Smith. Smith trying to find Beecham, taken away, and a picked up again by Glenn to Beecham, wide open. Can't hit, Smelzer's there. Yes, she lays it in. 10-7. That's four for Smelzer. 10-7, Breeze out in front in Chicago. Here's Thomas. Thomas from McCall, guarded by Glenn. Thomas on the baseline drive, layup, in and out. Loose ball, picked up by Morris and she lays it in. Or I should say Taylor, Sparkle Taylor. Pardon me for that. Here's Shantae Glenn. Step back for Smith. Smelzer, she finds space underneath. Layup good for Ariel Easton. 11-9. Ariel Easton gets her first basket of the day. Last week's player of the week. On the drive, rejected by Beecham. No, but they're gonna call a foul on her as Morris tried to go to the basket. Some subs coming in, two shots here for Morris, Arlisa Morris. 3.17 remaining in the first quarter. The Breeze lead by two. She hits the first. That's her first basket. Beecham will sit out. Coming in for the breeze is Shelton. Back to the game. Morris lines up. She sets and hits. Her first two points. Glenn slowing it down for Chicago. Gleason comes in for the Flint Monarchs. Number seven. Underneath, this is MC Smelzer getting underneath to Shelton. The paint is crowded. Shelton throws it up and in. Here's a three. No good. Here comes Easton the other way. Easton runs it back. Shelton can't recover. Glenn saves it, and Shelton was out of bounds. Yeah, she, her foot was on the line. She's trying to contest that one, but she won't win that one. As her foot was on the line. Here comes Leeson walking it up for Flint. Leeson against Glenn. Top of the key, this is a three, no good for uh, Boyd, and it's picked up by Gleason again. Here's Flint again, top of the key. They'll slow it down. Shot clock reset. Here's Boyd. Fighting Gleason around the screen. And here's a drive, triple drive. Hook shot is good for Brandy Baker. Here's Shantae Glenn with two minutes to go in the first quarter to the corner. Here's a three, no good. That shot was by Letitia Bennett. Gleason with a one-handed pass, nice passing. Up ahead, Boyd puts it up and draws the foul. She'll go to the line for two. 
Foul on number 33. We're tied at 13. Come on, 144 remaining. Boyd hits the first. So Beecham will come back to the game. Smelser sits out. Nothing will come easy today from both teams. They both know it with this heat advisory. She hits the second. Bree Blair back into the game as well for the Breeze. Walking it up. Here's Shantae Glenn, the shooting guard. Glenn against Gleason. Hesitation. Step back. Now this is Shelton. Shelton loses it, taken away. This is Morse all the way, and she lays it in. Chicago the other way. Bree, Bree Blair can't hit. Peachy gets her own rebound. Bleachum has space and lays it in. Here's Gleason against Shantae Glenn. This is Taylor. Taylor loses it. And it's out of bounds. Chicago basketball. 17-15. Flint out in front. Coming in for the breeze. This is Deanna Stiles for Shantae Glenn. Trying to find someone to inbound this ball. Easton Will. 54.4 remaining. The Flint Monarchs lead by two. Beecham loses it. This is Boyd and she lost the ball herself. Ariel Easton has it. Crosses over Boyd. Easton has space. Bree Blair, open three. No good. Rebound Shelton. And this one won't go. And here comes Bradford running it back for Flint. Bradford loses it. Beecham has it, one on two, now two on two. And she throws the ball away. Easton tried to recover Flint basketball with 30.8 remaining. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 17 15. Flint out in front. Here's Gleason. Now Bradford with 18 seconds remaining. Shot clock down to 10. Layup is up and the foul's gonna be called. I think it's gonna be before the shot. It's gonna be on the ground. So foul's gonna be called on Deanna Styles. Sparkle Taylor will inbound. 14.7 remaining and shot clock is off. So this might be the final possession of this first quarter. Flynn out in front by two, Crystal Bradford. Seven seconds, now six. Now five, Bradford against Beecham, goes to work. Now down to one, to the corner. This is Boyd, that's just for the wing, they didn't get the shot off. And that's the end of this first quarter. The score is the Monarchs 17, the Chicago Breeze 15. You hear the score, I'm Hami Rain. We'll be right back after these, this quick break. Second quarter underway, I'm Hami Rain from Kenwood. Hales Franciscan High School. Shantae Glenn walking it up. It's 17-16. They're going to count one basket for Chicago. Here's Smelser. She has space and can't hit the jumper. Bradford rebound. Up ahead to Gleason. Gleason with the crossover on Bree Blair. Bradford, the top of the key. Travels. Traveling Bree's basketball. Here comes Bree Blair walking it up for Chicago. Blair against Gleason, feeling the pressure. And now top of the key, this is Glenn. Glenn, oh, she tried to find, that was kind of a lazy pass right there. She kind of lobbed it up. And here comes Gleason for Flint. Bates to call it. Gleason was too slow walking up the court. 9.14 to go, second quarter. Flint leads 17-16. Shantae Glenn inbound, trying to find someone. She finds Easton. 
Here's Ariel Easton. Easton to Glenn. Glenn, oh great defense. And remaining with Chicago. Good defense by Asia Boyd. Here's Bree Blair, top of the key against Gleason. She steps back, tried to find Smelzer, and Glenn almost saved it out of bounds, but she wasn't there quite in time. So Flint basketball. Here comes Gleason. Gleason speeds it up this time off the court. Now this is Bradford, corner three. No good, can't get the roll. Bree Blair couldn't grab the board. Here's a layup and good for Sparkle Taylor. Sparkle Taylor for two. Bree Blair jogging it back for Chicago around the MC Smelser screen. Towards the layup and she gets the roll. Bree Blair. Her first basket of the night. Gleason. Oh, against Bree Blair. Liking the pressure of the coaching staff. Here's Bradford, one on four, lays it in. Twenty-one, eighteen. Flint out in front. Chicago hasn't made a three. Here's Smelser inside. Smelser feeling the double team. Fade away. Swish. Six points for Smelser. Here's Boyd to the corner. Oh, couldn't recover that one was uh, Baker. And now here's Bradford at the left wing. 7.35 to go, Bradford, spin move. Here's a three for uh, Baker, that's off the mark. Picked up offensive board by uh, Sparkle Taylor. Taylor goes up and draws the foul. Call a jump ball there. I don't have ice. And let's see what's going on here. Some substitutions coming on for Chicago. Deanna Styles back into the game. Oh, she's gonna go back to the bench to the scores table. So an actual jump ball. Let's see what we got here. We got a jump ball between Ariel Easton and uh, Sparkle Taylor. Taylor wins. Bradford thought about the three. She'll spin past inside. Taylor lays it in. 23-20. Taylor has four points all in this quarter. Saporia Smith, who checked into the game, gets it to Beecham at the corner. Here's Beecham going around the screen. Beecham. Bad pass, picked up by Smith. Two pointer, no good. And offensive rebound is up, no good again. Tipped around and taken away by Flint. This is Thomas. Bradford, oh nice move by Bradford going up and an offensive foul. Offensive foul. Nice job by Letitia Bennett drawing the charge. And we have an injury on the court. Ariel Easton. 23 20, 641 remaining. In this first half, the Flint Monarchs lead by three. And here comes Jalisa Olive, who checks into the game. Olive will walk it up. She's against Asia Boyd. Olive. Feeling the pressure going around the Beecham screen. Olive gets it over to Beecham. Beecham will take a three and it's off the mark. And here comes Bradford running it down up, up ahead. Behind the back pass by Taylor, couldn't recover. Uh, Baker gets it back to Bradford, top of the key and hits. 25-20. That's eight for Bradford. 
and the whistle blown will be reset as Zakiya Taylor comes back in. Deporia Smith gets it to the corner. This is Taylor. This is a long two. Can't hit. Rebound Bradford running it back for Flint. Crystal Bradford going to the basket. One on three scores plus the foul. 27-20. That's six points for Bradford in this quarter. Ten total. Bradford looking for her 11th. Five forty-one remaining. Flint up seven. Bradford lines up, and she can't hit the free throw, and it's picked up by Bree Blair. Bree Blair going around the screens, and here's Olive. Jaleesa Olive now guarded tightly by Asia Boyd. Olive around the screen by Beecham. Here's Bree Blair. She's wide open for three. And an offensive foul. It's going to be called against Akaya Taylor. Basket won't count. 27 to 20. The Breeze don't like that call. They called it a moving screen. And Jasmine Thomas will walk it up the court. Thomas will get it to the wing. A three-pointer is up and no good by Boyd and picked up by Bree Blair. Blair running it back the other way. Blair lost possession but gets it back. Here's a three-point shot is up and no good by Letitia Bennett. And it'll be Flint basketball, 27-20, with about five minutes to go in the first half. Substitution coming in, Bennett will sit out. Coming back is Deanna Stiles. Here's Thomas. Thomas walking it up the court. This is Baker. Shot clock down to 10. Baker getting it to Boyd. Boyd on the drive has an open layup and lays it in. 29-20 now. Boyd has four. Jaleesa Olive against Boyd to the corner. Now top of the key. This is Akaya Taylor on the drive and draws the foul. Heading to the line for two. So they're going to call a foul on... Sparkle Taylor. So Taylor will be at the line for two. And she lines up and hits the first. It's five points out for Taylor. Shantae Glenn coming back into the game for Chicago, for Jaleesa Olive. Taylor hits the second. Six points for Akaya Taylor. 29-22, Flynn out in front. Thomas getting it to Baker. Baker guarded by Taylor, and she gets it in to uh, Sparkle Taylor. Sparkle Taylor with a post move. Bank shot, no good. Picked up by Kaya Taylor. Here comes Chicago running it back. Bree Blair around the screen. Pull up two is blocked. Partially another and call foul on Thomas. So Bree Blair will head to the line for two. Blair hits the first. And Blair lines up again with 3.56 remaining. The Breeze trail by six. She hits the second. Four points for Bree Blair. Thomas walking it up for the Flint Monarchs over to Bradford. Bradford driving the lane all the way, laying it in, Crystal Bradford. Bradford has 12. Underneath, here's Beecham. She has space. Beecham goes up and draws the foul. This one called on Bradford. 
They're going to call that on. Bradford. So here's Keela Beecham at the line for two. And she hits the first. And now coming in for Flint is number four, Arlisha Morse. Beecham lines up with 3.32 remaining in the first half, and she hits the second. Gets the roll on both free throws. And we got a quick sub right here. MC Smelser coming in for Beecham. 31-26. 3.30 to go in the first half. Here's Bradford. She carried. Here's Bree Blair. Blair, now top of the key. Around, going to the basket, laying it up is good. That's Deanna Stiles. Her first points of the afternoon. Three minutes to go, a three point game in Chicago. Here's Thomas on the drive to the corner. A three for Morris is good. Alicia Morris. That's a big shot, 34 28. Here's Bree Blair. Blair, nice hesitation triple. On the layup, it's up, no good. Rebound Taylor, Taylor goes up strong, no good. Tip back out, here comes Bradford. Oh, and the drive taken away by Shante Glenn. Bree Blair, thought about the three, she steps back, now going back in, rejected, draws the foul. Flint doesn't like that call, but the whistle is already blown, and the foul's gonna be called on Thomas. And now heading to the line is Bree Blair. At the line, Bree Blair. 2.28 remaining. The Monarchs lead by six. Waiting on the refs here to pass it back. Bradford waiting on her to line up. Blair lines up, five foot three point guard. South Carolina State hits the first. Thirty-four twenty-nine. Blair hits the second. So she's now got six points. Full court pressure from Deanna Styles. Here's Thomas. Thomas getting it over. This is Moores. Moores against Blair. Pull up two and swishes it in. What a shot by Alicia Moores. She's got five. Bree Blair with about two minutes to go. In this first half, she goes around the screen. And gets a pass underneath. Glenn. And it's going to be a foul. No, I don't think it's going to be a foul. It might be out of bounds. Yep, it will be a foul. That's going to be called on Asia Boyd. 36-30. Under two minutes to go. Glenn at the line for two. Glenn looking for her first points of this afternoon. 156 remaining. The Monarchs lead by six. She hits the first. Glenn will line up again. Here's the free throw, and it's good. First two points for Shante Glenn. And here's Jasmine Thomas. This is Bradford at the wing against Smelzer. Bradford back out to Moore's open three. No good. Picked up by Taylor. Bree Blair running it back. Pull up three. Can't hit. Oh, rebound Taylor. Nice offensive board by Akaya Taylor. She tried to find Smelzer and she throws it away. 
Here's Morse against Blair. Spinning through. Taken away. Here come the Breeze. Three on one at the hurry. Three on two. Glenn will pull up. Missing the two. Gets her own rebound. Floater is good. And a timeout call for the Flint Monarchs. Glenn gets four points on the evening. A 30 second timeout they're calling. 36-34 with 68 seconds remaining. We'll be back in a quick second. Monarchs and the Chicago Breeze at Hales Franciscan High School. The Monarchs lead 36 to 34. And here's Thomas bringing it up for the Monarchs. Here's Thomas. Good defense by Styles. Styles giving her the pressure. Great defense by Styles. But Thomas drives in. Rejected by Akaya Taylor. Here comes Glenn. 50 seconds remaining. It's foul called against the Flint Monarchs. And now back to the free throw line is Shantae Glenn. Glenn looking to tie the game. Sparkle Taylor called for the foul there. They're giving her two free throws here. Glenn lining up and misses the first. And here's her second attempt. 36-34, 48.7 remaining. She hits the second. Five points for Shantae Glenn. 40 seconds remaining in this first half. This is Thomas, top of the key. Now this is Taylor. Spins, travels. Substitution coming in. This is Jasmine McCall. Into the game for Asia Boyd. And Bree Blair will walk it up for Chicago. 36-35. Blair at the wing to Taylor. This is for the lead. Yes, she's got it. That's nine now for Taylor. Or eight, I should say. Final seconds. First half. Here's a jumper by Moores. And she can't get the roll. Rebound, offensive rebound is up, and it's no good. And at the end of the first half. The score is your Chicago Reeves 37. The Flint Monarchs 36. A fast run to end the first half of the Chicago Breeze. They lead 37-36. I'm Hami Rain. We'll take a quick break for Chicago Breeze basketball. Back here at Hales Franciscan High School. It's a 37-36 Chicago Breeze lead. The high point scores. Or we'll just we'll just run through the scores. MC Smelter has six. Bree Blair also with six. Ariel Easton has two. Akaya Taylor has eight. Kendra Shelton and Deanna Stiles each with two. Keela Beecham with six. And Shantae Glenn has five points. As we get ready for the second half, this is Chicago Breeze basketball, part of the GWBA. Follow us on Twitter at CBreezeWBB. Here's Bree Blair starting off the second half. 
Blair against McCall. This is Shantae Glenn. Glenn going around the screen to the corner. Kaya Taylor thought about the three. Try to get it to Smelzer. On the drive, hook shot, no good. And it's gonna be picked up and a foul drawn. I didn't get a good angle. I believe Sheldon was the one that went up with the shot. It is Shelton. At the line for two, Shelton misses the first. Nine thirty-five remaining, third quarter. Shelton lines up again, and this one goes. Here we go. Here we go, White. Talk it out, White. Talk it out, White. So Shelton has three points. McCall getting it over to Moores. Moores on the drive and a charging foul. MC Smelzer draws the charge. Morris with another foul called against her. 38-36, Chicago out in front against the defending champs. A team that usually likes to run it, they're slowing it down today. Here's Shantae Glenn. Underneath, this is Taylor. Has space, getting it back out. A two-pointer for Shelton. Air ball. Three player saves it. And it remains with Flint. McCall to Thomas over the half-court line. Moores, top of the key. This is McCall. And here's Bradford for three. No good. And a nice rebound there by Moores. Moores. Getting it over to Poens. Inside, Bradford lays it in. Off the glass, tie game. That's 14 now for Bradford. Here's Smelser, step back, and she can't hit the jumper. Bradford the rebound, she's been all over the court today. And she throws it all the way down the court, out of bounds. So almost two minutes into this third quarter, tied at 38. 8.21 remaining. We got Glenn inbounding to, to Bree Blair. Blair walks it up the court. 8.12 remaining. Blair against Thomas on the call. Here's Shantae Glenn. Now this one, she's guarded by Thomas, going around the screen by Taylor. Glenn throws it up and can hit, gets her own rebound. Back out to Blair, open, wing three, no good. And picked up by Flint. This one's picked up by Morris. So bring it up the court. To the corner, a three is long. And the rebound is gonna be put up by Morris and a foul called. Are they gonna call it on MC? Am I calling MC Smelzer? I'm not sure. Yeah, they will. Number two, MC Smelzer, her second team's first. Line for the Monarchs, Morris. Morris at the line for two. She's got nine points so far, and she hits the first. There comes Beecham into the game for Chicago. Thirty-nine, thirty-eight. Flint out in front. Seven forty-five remaining in the third quarter. Chicago Breeze basketball. She hits the second. And now Bree Blair will walk it up the court. And here's a three for Shantae Glenn, and it's off the mark. Offensive rebound by Shelton, and she lays it in. And the layup is up, and no good for. Morgan Pullins are going to call a foul on Shelton, I believe. We're tied at 40. And Pullins is looking for her first point of the afternoon. And she hits the first. 
Coming in as MC Smelzer back to the game. In for Kendra Shelton. And the uh, free throws up and it's short. Picked up by Beecham. 41-40. Flint out in front. Three player changes pace, throws it up, no good. And it's picked up by uh, Pullins. And Pullins will get it to Thomas. This is a two pointer and it's off the mark. Picked up by Smelser. She saves it from going out of bounds. Bree Blair trapped in the backcourt. She's gonna slow it down. Trying to get it past that half court line, she does. Blair going to the corner. Underneath trying to find Smelser, she throws it away. Here comes Thomas, one on three, three on one I should say. Underneath, here's Moores, she's got it. And she flexes after that, hey, Bree Blair loses the ball. Almost lost it, Shantae Glenn has it. Blair wasn't paying attention, Glenn puts it up. Glenn gets it underneath to Sheldon, uh, to Smelser. No good, Taylor with a big rebound. Taylor, all the way to the other side. Beecham fade away, no good. And picked up. This one by Pullins again, up ahead. Layup is good by McCall, timeout Chicago. 45-40, Flint coming out on top. 6-18 remaining, I'm Hami Rain from Hales Franciscan High School. Chicago Breeze basketball. I'm gonna give a quick shout out to Richard Ray doing the camera work for today's game for YouTube. Beecham inbounds to Shantae Glenn. And she'll let it roll up the court. Glenn touches the ball. Here's Shantae Glenn. Glenn gets it over. This is Beecham going to the basket. Beecham throws it away. And here comes Morris throwing it up ahead. Thomas saves it. Nope, she didn't. It goes out of bounds to so the Chicago ball. And Shantae Glenn will inbound near the half court line. Here's Ariel Easton. Last week's player of the week. She got a band aid right here on her forehead. Easton gets it to Smelser. Smelser with the spin move, putting it up. No good. And here comes Flint the other way. Hit. This is Taylor. Or McCall, I should say. Jasmine McCall. Lays it in. McCall has eight. Here's Shantae Glenn throwing it up. And no good. Rebound by Smelzer. And she draws the ball. She lost the handle of the ball. But when she, the little bit she had, she threw it up towards the basket to draw the foul. She's going to the line for two. Smelzer at the line for two. She's got six in the afternoon so far. 5.18 to go in the third quarter. Smelzer misses the first. And coming in now, Deanna Stiles into the game for Chicago. She's in for Beecham. Akai Taylor will move to the five. Five eighteen to go in the third quarter. Forty-seven forty Flint over Chicago so far. Smelzer hits the second. And a quick sub. Bree Blair comes right back for Smelzer. So the Breeze going a little small here to counter the length of the Flint Monarchs. Up ahead, taken away by Taylor. Taylor going all the way, missing the layup, draws the foul. Foul's gonna be called on number 11, that's Pullins. Morgan Pullins, her third, team's third. So Taylor at the line for two. Trying to cut this to four. She misses the first. About five minutes remaining. Third quarter. Taylor misses the second. She missed them both. 
Bradford gets it back to McCall, and here's Bradford again. Bradford spinning through the defense. Bradford to the corner. Morris, open three, swish. I feel like that might be the first three we've seen, we've seen today. Ray Blair on the drive, draws the foul. Here we go, blocking foul, yep. Called on Alicia Morse. At the line for the Chicago Breeze, Bree Blair. So Blair has six points so far. Lines up, shoots, and hits. No subs on this possession. 49 42. And we have some questions from the referee. Here's Blair, and she hits again. Cutting this to a six point game. Bradford down the court. Moores losing the possession. Nice defense by Styles. This is Thomas. Thomas against Easton. Underneath, loose ball, saved. Oh, great save by Pullins. Here's Taylor. Flip shot, no good. And Pullins gets it right back and lays it in, making all the hustle plays. A three is off the mark. And is picked up by Moores. Alicia Moores. Back out to Bradford. Step back three. No good. Picked up by Taylor. Up ahead to Bree Blair. Here's Blair across the half court line. Driving the lane fearlessly to the basket. Chicago wants to press. Trap. Up ahead is Bradford. Bradford against Blair. Spins past her. Bradford to the lane. Underneath to Bowen. And it's going to go out of bounds. Chicago basketball. And Flint arguing with that call. Six point Flint lead. 3.35 remaining. And now coming in for the Monarchs. Randy Baker coming in for Flint. They're going to call a foul on that last one, not an out of bounds play, sideline or baseline. Cleaning off some of that sweat on the floor. It's the referee. Making sure that it's able to be played on. Bradford will sit out. 3.35 to go. The Breeze trail by six. Glenn, Blair, Easton, Taylor, and Styles, the five for Chicago. Here's Bree Blair throwing it up and draws the foul. She just threw the ball towards the basket and the foul was called for her and she'll head back to the line for two. Blair lines up and hits the first. Here comes Blair again. And she hits the second. Blair has 12 points on this afternoon. There's a risky pass up here by Flint. This is Boyd getting it to the corner. Morris throws up a three, is long. Offensive rebound is good. Layup by Jasmine McCall. She's got six in this quarter. And Easton draws the foul. It'll be sideline out of bounds, I believe, unless they're in the bonus, which they are. So it will be sideline out of bounds. Here's Bree Blair, top of the key. Blair against Moores. Tries a three, can't hit. Moores with a long rebound and draws the foul. Called against Blair. Two 
2.55 to go. 53-47, Flint Monarchs out in front over the Chicago Breeze at Hales Franciscan High School. To the corner, this is McCall. McCall flips it and taken away by Chicago. Here's Bree Blair from the Breeze. Taylor. Taylor has an open lane to the basket, lays it in. That was too easy. Taylor with her first basket of this half. Press defense by Chicago. Thomas taken away by Glenn. 2.20 to go. Shantae Glenn slowing it down for Chicago. It's a four point Flint lead. Bree Blair on the drive. Lefty layup, no good. And picked up by Flint. Ahead, this is McCall. She's got it. Timeout called on the Breeze. That's seven points in this quarter for Jasmine McCall. The Monarchs lead 55 to 49. We'll be back in the next minute. Thank you to Richard Ray on the camera work. Akaya Taylor will throw it deep for Jaleesa Olive. Olive almost lost possession. She's in trouble on the backcourt, but runs it up. 150 remaining in the third. Olive gets to the corner. This is Taylor. Taylor finding underneath is Beecham. She's got space. Beecham using the post. Throws it up and a traveling violation against Keela Beecham. Ninety-seven seconds remaining in the third. It's a six-point Flint lead. Thomas up ahead to Boyd. Asia Boyd. Crossover back to Thomas. Thomas has it taken away. She recovers. Thomas on the drive pass. Olive flip shot. Floater no good. Beecham rebound. 120 remaining. Beecham trying to find the pass for Zaporia Smith. She gets it. Here's Smith. Now Taylor at the wing. Right wing Taylor. Trying to find Beecham. Taylor will try the long shot. It's good. It's a two pointer. Four points this quarter for Taylor. 12 overall. Asia Boyd with 50 seconds to go. 55-51. Boyd on the drive. Change of pace. In and out. And it's picked up by Chicago. Zaporia Smith running it down. Smith spins past. Finds Beecham. Baseline drive. Beecham goes up strong. No good. And it's going to remain with Chicago basketball. Beecham a little slow to get up. Trying to catch a breather. 33.9 to go. Four point Flint lead. Zaporia Smith will inbound. She gets it to Beecham at the elbow. 30 seconds remaining. Beecham to Smith. This is Zaporia Smith. Underneath, open layup. Shelton has it taken away by Alicia Morris. Heads up play by Morris. Boyd, Bradford, corner three, open, no good. 10 seconds remaining. Smith, pull up three. Yes! Big time three point shot by Zaporia Smith. Timeout call for Flint with 1.5 remaining. Smith gets her first three of the game, the first three overall for Chicago. 55 to 54. The Flint Monarchs lead by one with 1.5 to go in the third. A quick timeout for Flint. remaining we may have a score change for the breeze 1.5 to go Hold your left. Hold your 
Here's the inbound from Bradford, trying to find someone. Gets it towards the basket, throws it up, no good. Looking for the foul is Brandy Baker. Chicago Breeze 55-54 is on the scoreboard right now at the end of three. We'll be right back. 55-54 as we get this fourth quarter underway. Arlesia Morris will walk it up for the Flint Monarchs. Morris gets it back to Boyd at the top of the key. Here's Boyd to the corner. This is Morris. Tight defense. Right there by Bennett. And a loose ball out of our Chicago basketball. Here comes Bree Blair walking it up. Blair against Boyd. Blair tried to get past her. Bennett tried to save it, but it'll be out of bounds. And Flint basketball. Walking it up for the Monarchs. This is uh, Alicia Morris. Morris gets to Bradford. Almost over and back. She kept the ball in. Underneath to the corner. A three is good for Morris. A big shot for Alicia Morris. And a uh, loose ball to go out of bounds will remain with Chicago. Coming in is Easton. Easton will come in for Bennett. Fifty-eight, fifty-four. Inbound comes into MC Smelser. She saves it from getting that ball turned over. Smelser stops her dribble. Here's Deanna Styles to the basket. She lays it in. Oh, what a tip pass by Boyd. Here's Bradford. To the corner, this is Baker. On the flip shot is off the mark. Lead pass from MC Smelzer to Bree Blair. Blair stops, pops to Taylor. Back to Blair. Blair will try the three. And it's in and out. Picked up by Bradford, spinning past Taylor. Crossing through her, spinning again. Baker, and it's gonna be a blocking foul, I believe, on MC Smelzer. Then it's not in the game. I think the referee miscalled that. I think the referee miscalled, it might be on Smelzer. It's on two. I think they're calling it on MC Smelzer. Ben, it's not in the game. Referee did give out the 33 sign. Unless maybe he wasn't sure if that was an offensive foul. It was a close call. 58-56, Flint out in front. And a foul is going to be called against Beecham. Sideline out of bounds. A two point lead for Flint. And they get it in. This is Morris. Morris guarded tightly by Easton. Morris going all the way and she can't finish. Taylor tried to get the rebound. She falls to the ground. Here's Easton. Pops up, no good. And she gets the rebound again, Easton, no good. Easton again, saves it, it's off the, off, out of bounds. A smart play by Ariel Easton. Nice improvisation. Huggy is an understatement. 58-56, Flint out in front, Akaya Taylor has it. Back to Bree Blair. Blair will get it to the wing, around the Keeler Beecham screen. Blair on the drive, gets it right back out, shot clock down to 10, now nine. A three for Easton, you bet! She's 
Chicago has the lead again. Whistleblown traveling. Fifty-nine, fifty-eight. The Breeze have the lead. Ariel Easton. Back to Blair. With 7.25 to go. Fourth quarter. With a one-point lead, Bree Blair gets underneath to Easton. Easton on the drive. Right-handed layup is no good. Offensive rebound by Beecham. Here's Styles feeling the pressure. Easton getting it back to the top. Should try a luck from three. It's no good. Offensive rebound again by Beecham. On the drive, it's Easton. And she draws the foul. Good work by Ariel Easton going inside and out. Easton has seven points, looking for eight and nine now. And she's got eight now. This honestly might be the biggest lead the Breeze have today, 60 to 58. Mostly been playing from behind. But this game has been close throughout. Easton lines up and hits. 61-58. Here's Gleason who just checked in for Flint. Thomas gets it to Baker. Baker spins past Taylor. Taylor tries to draw the charge and they're gonna call a foul on Akaya Taylor. And now Brandy Baker will head to the line for two. Baker lines up and can't hit the first. And Baker hits the second. She cuts it to two. Bree Blair will walk it up for Chicago. Blair on the drive against Gleason. Blair going all the way, missing. Beecham is there for the offensive rebound and lays it in. And a loose ball. Good defense there by McCall. Open three is there. Big shot, Morgan Pullins. 63-62. There's Blair. Blair changing pace, behind the back, throws it up, no good. Picked up by Thomas, running it back. Fall by Taylor. So, you hear from the PA, Mike Fleischman, that's four on Taylor. So I'm gonna try to dry the floor here again. So at the line for two is Jasmine Thomas. Well, it's a one and one. Box out, White, box out. And let's see what we're waiting on here from the referees. Easton has more blood coming down her face. Needing to get that cleaned up. Walks away with frustration as MC Smelser comes into the game. Thomas hits the free throw. That's the first. It's a tie game. Tied at 63, six minutes remaining in the fourth. Jasmine Thomas hits the second, and the Monarchs regain the lead. 
Bree Blair has it. Shantae Glenn. Glenn, and that one's going to be tipped. Out of play, Chicago basketball off the Flint player. Here is Beecham, strong drive, gets her own rebound, flips it up, scores, plus the foul! Beecham now has 10 points. And Jaleesa Olive comes right back in for Chicago. Shantae Glenn will sit down. Beecham at the line for one. Looking to double this lead, 65-64. She can't hit. It remains one. 65-64, 5.30 to go. Great move by Thomas getting past Jaleesa Olive. Olive recovers though on defense. Thomas now to Baker. Underneath, Pullins back to Thomas. Double team, trap. Smart double team there, but a wide open lane for Pullins. She's got it, plus the foul. Foul on number 30, Kilo Beecham, her third. 5.16 to go. Another lead change. Morgan Pullins at the line for one more. And she can't hit the free throw. And loose ball, jump ball. They call jump ball right there. Come on. 66-65, Flint out in front. Here's the jump ball, Beecham against Baker. She can't move while you and it's picked up by Flint, they'll win the tip. Thomas at the top of the key. Thomas getting it over to, I believe that's McCall. McCall on the drive, steps back out. On the drive, Pullins flips it up. And a long rebound picked up by Deanna Stiles, running it back. Stiles, Olive, open three. Her first three points of the afternoon. None bigger than that. Pullins for three, answers. Timeout, Chicago with the three, the rhythm a little bit out of place. Bree Blair walks it up. The Monarchs lead by one. Styles getting it into Smelzer. Smelzer has space, puts it up, in and out. Picked up by Thomas. Jasmine Thomas for Flint. Thomas against Olive. Gleason. Gleason taken away by Bree Blair. A foot race. Blair draws a foul. She'll Hudson line for two. Foul on number two. free throws for Bree Blair. Foul's going to be called number seven. That's Taylor Gleason. Bree Blair hits the first. <laughs> Smelzer sits out. Akaya Taylor in for Chicago. A tie game at 69. And she can't break the tie. Gleason walking it back for the Flint Monarchs. Gleason back out to Poins. This is McCall at the wing. McCall on the Pullen screen. Pullen gets past Taylor and lays it in. And taken away by McCall. Flint has it the other way. McCall one on three and she lays it in.
The Monarchs lead by four. 3.17 to go in quarter four. Both these teams haven't lost yet. Blair back out to Oliver, deep three. No good. Pullins the rebound. Oh, and here's Thomas. Thomas around the screen. And Baker with the baseline jumper, air ball, and Deanna Stiles couldn't recover. Are they gonna call a foul here? No, no, they won't. They won't. So Flint basketball up by four with under three to go. McCall inbounds to Pullins. Pullins on the drive. Floater, no good, picked up by Smelzer. A lot of time for the breeze. Shantae Glenn. Glenn tried to go between her legs but couldn't get, the, couldn't recover with the ball. Bree Blair pulls up for two. She was double teamed. And it's gonna be a foul called against the breeze. It might be against Smelzer, I believe. Or, nope, it's gonna be called on Bree Blair. Two free throws is what he was signaling at. So free throws here are coming up for McCall. At the line shooting two, Jasmine McCall. McCall has 12 points in the game. She misses the first. And McCall will line up again with 2.32 to remaining. And she misses them both. Ariel Easton, long rebound. Easton, pull up two. It was long, and it's picked up by Baker. McCall, strolling up the court, back out to Thomas. There's Baker at the wing, right wing against Taylor. Gleason. And now Brandy Baker, on the drive, loses the ball. They're calling it Monarchs basketball. I thought that went off of Baker, off her own foot. But the referees are gonna say it's Flint ball. I don't know about that call. Seventy-three, sixty-nine, two oh five remaining in the fourth. The Monarchs lead. Trying to wipe off more sweat on the floor. The question is, what happened to our towels? Two oh five remaining. McCall will inbound. This is Pullins on the drive and she draws a foul. No free throws, at least I don't think. No, so there will be free throws as they're over the bonus. My bad on that. Pullins will be at the line. And she misses the first. Beecham coming into the game for Chicago. In for Smelzer. Morgan Pullins lines up and hits the second. A five point game. Shantae Glenn. Glenn on the drive. Puts it up and draws the foul. Any point here is crucial for Chicago as Glenn will head to the line for two. Glenn will line up for the first as Zaporia Smith comes to check into the game. She's in for Keela Beecham. As Glenn hits the first, it's a 74-70 Flint Monarchs lead with under two minutes to go. Glenn hits the second. 
Here's McCall, slowing it down for the Flynn Monarchs. A three-point game, taken away by Taylor! Underneath to Glenn! Glenn back to Taylor! She's got it! One-point game! Taylor! Trap defense, loose ball, Glenn! Can't get the ball! And a quality travel there! Loose ball taken away! Zaporia Smith! And a whistle blown and a foul call against the Flint Monarchs! What a play by Deanna Styles! Styles ties the game. Ninety-one seconds to go, fourth quarter. Taylor lines up at the uh, left box as Styles puts up the free throw and hits. The Breeze have a one-point lead. Here's McCall. Jasmine McCall to the corner. McCall again. Against Shante Glenn, going around the screen. A step back jumper for Bradford is off the mark, picked up by Zaporia Smith. Now the Breeze could slow it down. Shante Glenn. Shante Glenn with under a minute to go. Shot clock at five. Now four. Glenn takes it on herself. And hits the step back fadeaway! Timeout, Flint! Shante Glenn with the ISO step back from the wing, and Chicago has a three point lead. Tommy Rain live at Hales Franciscan High School in Chicago, Illinois, 46.9 to go. The Chicago Breeze leads 77 to 74 over the Flint Monarchs. Shante Glenn with a big time step back to increase the lead from one to three. That was Glenn's first field goal of the night. So here's the inbound from McCall. She gets it to Bradford. Goes right to work. Wastes no time and lays it in. Racing down the court is Glenn. 30 seconds remaining. Shantae Glenn on the drive. Shot clock down to six. At uh, eight. Now down to six. Now five. Easton has to go to work, throws up a three, a no good, and a shot clock violation. Honestly, the shot clock didn't go off until... A timeout called for Duvall Richardson's squad, the Chicago basketball. Moores will inbound to Thomas. It's all down to this. Thomas feeling the trap, gets it up ahead. Eason couldn't get the steal. Morris throws it up. Morris misses. Rebound by Glenn. Final seconds. Five. Now four. Glenn draws the foul. Oh, no, they're going to call a timeout. A timeout call for Chicago. But this game is far from over with 3.6 remaining. What a terrific game we have here. The Breeze leads 77-76. They have possession with 3.6 to go. Bull 
Evans, Morris, Bradford, Baker, and Thomas, the 5 for Flint. Taylor, Styles, Easton, uh, Smelser, and the fifth for the Breeze is inbounding Akia, Ta Akia Taylor and Shante Glenn. 3.6 remaining. Safely getting this inbounds. Akaya Taylor looking for that one. Loose ball taken away. Thomas up ahead, no shot in time. The Breeze win, 77-76. What an incredible finish from Chicago. The Breeze improved to 2 and 0. The Monarchs are now 2 and 1. 77-76 the Breeze come out in front. <laughs>